The year is 2030. After the great riot which led to what is now known as the culling, the United States of America no longer exists as it once did. Racial tensions across the nation had exacerbated circumstances within our communities. Because of this, the new authority did its best to cleanse the system of the diverse leadership which promoted divisive ideals causing harmful commotion. Due to the extreme financial inequality our nation suffered, the new authority has taken it upon themselves to provide the American people with a new form of economy. The middle class has evolved from its poverty-stricken roots in communities of color into a new system in which class no longer exists. The country, now divided into geographic regions, consists mainly of bustling metropolitan cities that provide citizens with the opportunity to exist in like-minded communities. Though we are now faced with the unavoidable challenge of climate change, the new authority has ensured its citizens that each region will be sufficiently resourced enough to face the extreme weather and temperature changes which are now commonplace. Thankfully, your region's allocated resources are directly linked to its level of productivity via a new national citizens rating system. We have also entirely revamped and systemically improved our national education system, the national health care system, and all other public service agencies, ensuring our highest rated citizens receive everything they need in order to thrive within our new authority. To those who are seeking knowledge and independence, we are still here. A leader for here. We have moved on the ground and faced a number of misinformations. In the United States in 2030, we have done our due diligence to remedy past issues our national infrastructure has faced. For example, today, every expecting mother can expect to receive a complimentary health care screening at her local medical facility. There, our state-sponsored medical professionals will perform scans and routine checkups throughout her pregnancy to ensure that any anomalies, such as unnecessary pigmentation, undesirable predispositions, or potentially harmful birth defects, will be dealt with before your offspring takes their first breath. After the standard nursing period, the offspring will then be accepted into our new educational habilitation program where they'll spend their formative years participating in activities that help train them to become the best contributors to society they can be. Once the offspring is acclimated, they will be given a name and allowed time to consider the career options they've earned during childhood training. After making their lifestyle choice, each habilitation graduate receives their social security rating number, which helps new Americans better assimilate to life after schooling. As digital currency has taken the world by storm, we in the United States of America have taken the necessary steps to ensure our American citizens are up to date with the current trends in technologic commerce. In turn, the United States dollar coin, USDC. We know that this is going to be good. We are all working in the streets. We cannot and will not be silenced. Our aims are to move beyond our own arguments of the federal state. We have influence in every field. Our power should not be under It is now our sole nationally recognized form of currency. All retailers in the U.S. will now only accept USDC as a proper form of payment. This has helped to stimulate our national economy, which has led to the reinvigoration of the free market. Our United States government has unified under one vision, with the party formerly known as the Republicans leading the way in the House, the Senate, the Supreme Court, and the White House. To ensure cooperation and cut delays in the creation of laws, the hindrance of democratic processes have been removed. It is with these improvements that the new authority has been able to regain global military and economic superiority. Industries can now feel secure knowing the government is behind them. Gone are the days of needless hiring guidelines, standardized workplaces, and environmental policies. Business leaders and other elite citizens have unparalleled ease of access to voting, education, and arms for continued prosperity. To better serve the citizens of our great nation, funding for centers of entertainment, media, public education, and cultural spaces have been reallocated toward research for advancements in science and technology. 
the new authority has continued to collect masterworks of art by sponsoring private collections which seek to protect and preserve our cultural legacy as United States citizens. We have the ability to the status quo. We have For continued economic prosperity and personal financial success, the educational system now provides opportunities to learn trade skills throughout the regions. Secondary schooling has been deemed unnecessary for individuals born into lower rated communities as technological advancements have disrupted the need for a large workforce in many respects. To better allocate human resources, primary education now focuses on developing fundamentals for sanitization and disposal of chemical waste. Elite citizens with more favorable ratings, superior test scores, and financial resources will have access to secondary schooling and higher education with emphasis on science, math, technology, and business. To aid in the conservation of resources, all libraries have been closed. Their purpose as a supplementary institution providing books, music, arts, and community spaces is a clear threat to productivity and derails the aims of the new authority. In 2030, technology has reached its highest peaks. Self-driving vehicles are all the rage and artificial intelligence has moved us into a technological revolution. Everything you could want is a click or a button away. No need for snail mail when you can get your product via delivery drone within two hours or less. Welcome to our new cashless system. You now have access to use USD coin through your citizen's imprint, which also connects you to our national rating system. Every citizen in the United States is now eligible to obtain a serial code imprinted onto their skin free of cost. How easy! All citizens must receive an official imprint from their local health department before 2031. Our leaders have done their best to protect you from potentially harmful information. We are now filtering out content from the internet that is of no use to you, making it easy and safe for you to surf the web. In the United States, artificial intelligence has taken over the undesirable tasks of society so that you have time to focus on being the best citizen possible. We are now using automated workforces in factories, warehouses, restaurants, grocery stores, clothing stores, general stores, and as agricultural labor. Citizens no longer need to put their life at risk for other citizens. We now have artificial intelligence at the center of our first responder network. If apprehended, facial recognition technology will determine the criminal's identification and update their rating before being brought to a courthouse. These ratings have the biggest impact on your overall rating score, so make sure to follow the law and be an outstanding citizen. <laughs> Although the resistance is weak in 2030, it is not non-existent. In our communities, there exists a subculture that consistently works to bring about financial, cultural, and educational prosperities to the impoverished masses outside of the new authority. They aim to steal the wealth of the hard-working citizens of the United States. They seek to undo the work that has created our thriving society. They hope to interject their divisive ideals into positions of power and create political and economic instability. They will not rest. No matter how much is done to diminish their voices, they refuse to be destroyed. And so, it is forever the work of the new authority and elite citizens to exert force that crafts a nation which adheres to the ideals this great country was founded upon. The new authority shall reign supreme, ensuring the safety of citizens by all means necessary.